Thanks for being with us. The sixth night of demonstrations in Des Moines tonight. Demonstrators started at Price Chopper on Ingersoll Avenue in Des Moines with a peaceful gathering at six. After that, they started marching through Des Moines. Local 5's Eva Anderson has been following them tonight. And Eva, where are you now? Well, Jack, right now we're at the Sculpture Park. We just left the residence of Des Moines Mayor Frank County. We certainly weren't the only ones there. There were hundreds of demonstrators. Those are the same ones that started out on Ingersoll earlier today. They marched today with four concise demands that they would like Mayor County and other authority in Iowa to take a look at and respond to. One of them was the curfew that just started an hour ago that they want to be eliminated. County came out of his house, spoke directly to the crowd, and here's what he had to say. We're going to work on the anti-profiling. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, we're moving that forward, as I said, next Monday. Uh, we're going to try to get the... Uh, uh, the felons who have served time and have been released, they need to have their voting rights back. Uh, they're citizens, they're human beings, they've paid their price. They should not be deprived of, of, of voting. So again, that is what the demonstrators called a success. The young man who organized it, his name is Matthew Bruce, and he got a very large coalition of people to snake through the streets of Des Moines. In fact, they they agreed at the beginning to not kneel with protest, not kneel, sorry, with police or pray with police because they said rather than just some of those symbols, they would like to see action. And here's what it looked like earlier today. Again, hundreds snaking through the streets of Des Moines. And at one point, in fact, they all lied down on the ground for nearly nine minutes to represent the time that George Floyd where his neck was being knelt on as he was slowly dying. At that point, the leader shouted, Mama, Mama, representing when George Floyd cried out to his mother as he was dying. A mother who brought her 11-year-old son to the demonstration says she's just happy that her son Elijah can witness this powerful history in the making. All of these people are here from him, for him. He's a, he's, a, he's a young black boy. He will grow to be a young black man. And all of these people are here for him. It's okay to be different, but you also, you also have to treat each other equally. And you can't treat people wrong because of the color of their skin or the way they look. So with that very wonderful 11 year old boy even joining in on the demonstration you can see that people of all ages joined in and a lot of us uh, on facebook live certainly a lot of you have been asking you know this on the sixth day of these demonstrations what are they working towards well again you saw mayor county commit to next monday at the meeting addressing four of those demands that these youthful activists have uh, have organized and again uh, he was also asked will you commit to this and he said he certainly will and in fact mayor county took the names and numbers of the members of the youth who were at the head of tonight's demonstration to say i will be sitting down and following up with you also again we will continue to track that for all of you reporting live in des moines eva anderson local five news we are iowa